This is question number 10. And it says in the figure below, A, B, C, A, B and C, D are acts of two concentric circles, center O. Angle o, A, O, B is equal to 60 degrees and A, D is equal to B, C is equal to 7 centimeters. So we have the figure here, that angle, we have A, B, this is 7. Given that the perimeter for A, B, C, D is 28, to that uh, centimeter, find OA, the radius of the small circle. So this is OA, so that is the radius that we are looking for. And uh, we already have been given the perimeter of A, B, C, and D. Uh, therefore, we can be able to get the equate the, the radius, uh, that is the perimeter, and be able to get uh, the radius of this R, that is, so the radius of the big circle will be uh, r plus 7 that is from o to c and therefore we can say this area first of all we get the length of uh, no that area the length of a b so we say it is 60 divided by 60 uh, you multiply by 2 pi uh, you say 2 pi r then you add the radius, uh, the, the length of CD, which is uh, 60, divided by 360, uh, you multiply by 2 pi, and now the radius is R plus 7. Then you add to plus, you add to 7 and 7, so this is 14, and that should give you the perimeter which you have been given here, which is 28 and uh, we can say 28 and 2 that so by finding r in this case which is the only unknown you will be able to get the radius of the small circle or r so we can say you can simplify this and say uh, this is pi over 3 uh, that is you divide by that this is uh, uh, that is 6 and this you divide by 2 this will be 3 and then we have uh, uh, that is r and then from there we have plus this you divide that you divide that this is six uh, that is one you this is one that is uh, three so we also have uh, pi over three and then we have r plus seven and that is equal uh, that is uh, you can take 14 to the other side uh, this will be 14 uh, or we write it in, in proper form and you'll be able to get 14 and 2 that will be 44 uh, divided by 3. Now with that we can uh, multiply throughout by 3. So we have uh, 3 will disappear. We have pi r plus this is a uh, pi r uh, then we have a uh, uh, plus 7 pi should give you 44 so that is what you end up with there. so we can now divide by pi throughout this will be r and r so we have 2 r uh, this is a uh, plus 7 is equals to pi that is for that let's say that is uh, 44 let's correct that this is 44 uh, divide by pi then we just uh, subtract 7 from this so we have 2 pi is equals to uh, 44 divide by pi you minus 7 uh, so when you divide 44 by pi you'll be able to get uh, you'll be able to get uh, you'll be able to get 7.0 uh, that is 14.0 uh, you minus 7 so you have uh, this is 2r not r not r so you have 2r is equals to 7.0 and you divide both sides by 2 uh, so you get r is equals to uh, 3.5 centimeter and this is uh, to 2 uh, decimal places so that's how you work out so what you are being tested here is whether you know to how to find the length of an arc